Do you want to get your college decision earlier than everybody else? Do you want to save hundreds of dollars on college application fees? You do? Then you're in the right place. Hi everyone, my name is Ning Yi and you can call me Imi. I'm an incoming freshman at MIT in the class of 2024. And in today's video, I will share with you guys the programs that I applied to MIT with. And I will guide you guys through the application process through this program. And in the end of this video, I will share with you guys the benefits of applying through this program. So make sure you stick around to the end. So first, what is this program? As you may have heard me mentioning it in my How I Got Into MIT video, the program is called QuestBridge. QuestBridge is a program that helps low-income but high-achieving students to get higher education in the leading institutions. It has partnered with 42 top colleges, which means that you can apply to these colleges through QuestBridge. The one for junior is called College Prep Scholar. In this program, you apply as a junior to get ready for college application process and also get resources and extra opportunities to prepare for this journey. And if you are a senior, you can apply to the second program which is called National College Match. In this program, you can have the chance to be matched with one of the 42 Westridge Partner Schools in early December plus with a full ride. So for the National College Match, you need to apply to be a finalist first. If you are selected as a finalist, then you can move on to participate in the National College Match. In this summer, you start a free online QuestBridge application. This application includes parent information, household income, education, AP and coursework, grades, standardized testing, extracurriculars, academic and career interests, honors like a award you have got, and your essays. And in September 26, it's time for you to submit this application. On October 10th, you need to rank up to 12 college partners. A lot here are ranking the schools though. Only four of the schools are long binding, which means that you don't have the obligation to go there if you are admitted. So the four long binding schools are MIT, Stanford, Princeton, and Yale. And for the binding schools, meaning that you have the obligation to go there if you are admitted to that school and you have to withdraw all your applications to other schools to apply to. So when you are ranking the schools, you should pay extra attention of the order of your ranking and rank the colleges with the order of your preference. And on October 16, finalist results are notified and you have two weeks until November 1st to submit the match requirements. Match requirements actually varies from different schools that you apply to. Some schools like Stanford, they require a supplement essay and some other schools require you to submit your common app as well as the QuestBridge app. So you have to write your common app essay within these two weeks. Some other schools like MIT, they don't require you to submit your supplement essay and in fact, they don't even encourage you to submit it because they think that QuestBridge essays are sufficient enough for their evaluation. So if you are selected as a finalist, you can choose to participate in the match or if you are like, wow, only two weeks to finish all the supplements, then you can wait until later to apply through the regular decision round. So on December 2nd, finalists who rank colleges find out if they got matched. If you got matched to a college, you got your decision on December 2nd, which is about two weeks even earlier than early application or early decision round. But if you are not matched, like me, some schools allow you to still participate in the early action or early decision round. So for MIT specifically, they will send you an email asking if you want to still participate in the early action round. If you say yes, then your application will be automatically rolled over to the early action pool and you don't need to do anything about that. The result will be out on December 14th. After December 15th, if you are not accepted to a school yet, you can still apply to the regular decision round through QuestBridge. Yes, I do think that it has a lot of steps to follow through if you apply through QuestBridge. And yes, it is complicated and stressful, especially if you are applying to colleges at the beginning of your senior year, whereas all your peers are only doing the regular school work. But hey, I gotta tell you, from my experience, it is worthwhile.
at least when they're filing the FAFSA and the CSS profile in January or February, you could be like, huh, I finished in November already. Why the hell should I go through this complicated process? Well, let me tell you the benefits of applying through QuestBridge. First, you don't need to pay college application fee if you're applying to QuestBridge partner schools. Let's do a quick math here. The college application fee to one college is $75, and let's say if you only apply to four colleges, 75 times 4 equals 300. 300, that's a lot of money. That's a steal. And the second benefit is that if you are matched to a college, you get your decision on December 2nd, which is way earlier than everybody else. That means that you don't need to stress about the whole college application process for the rest of your senior year. So you can have fun at the end of your senior year. And the third benefit is that if you are selected as a finalist, you are invited to this Facebook group where you can find so many awesome people just like you. And in fact, I've made so many good friends in that group and that community is just awesome. So if you are from a financially challenged background, but you want to study at these top institutions, I strongly recommend you apply to QuestBridge. My question for you today is, are you thinking of applying to QuestBridge? And if you are already in this community, what's one way that QuestBridge has helped you in this journey? Leave your answers in the comment section below and I would love to see what you think. If you think this video is helpful, feel free to share it with anyone you think will benefit from this video. Thank you so much for checking out this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that notification bell because next week I will share my QuestBridge essay that got me into MIT and I want you guys to be the first one to watch it. And as always, stay healthy and safe. Bye! Do you want to get your... Do you want your <laughs> Do you want to get your college decision earlier than everybody else? Do you want to save hundreds of dollars on college application fees?